Today was definitely a great day for the world of AI, as we had new releases coming from Anthropic, including the launch of the new Claude 3.5 Haiku model and the introduction of the new computer use API that lets Claude autonomously handle web-based tasks. I've already made two videos showcasing these two advancements, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, and I truly recommend that you take a look at them. But in addition to these great major releases, Anthropic also quietly announced a subtle yet significant update that many people may not have noticed. The upgrade of the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. As we all know, the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model was already a remarkable model with state-of-the-art performance across various benchmarks, but it just got even better. The upgraded 3.5 Sonnet model has now shown significant improvements on industry benchmarks especially in coding and tool use tasks. For coding, it boosted its performance on the Sway Bench verified test from a 33.4 score to a 49 percentage, which is outperforming all public models, including OpenAI's O1 preview, as well as scoring a new record on Human Evil. Now, the best part is, these advancements come at the same price and speed as its previous model. So, in my opinion, this is definitely a better coding-based model and it basically marks it the best coding based model that has ever been released. Now, if you were to run a direct comparison between the OpenAI 01 preview model and Sonnet 3.5, there are certain benchmarks where it would show that the 01 preview would definitely outperform Sonnet 3.5. However, when it comes to coding and a few other benchmarks related to that, it shows that Sonnet 3.5 clearly surpasses the 01 preview. And in my opinion, this makes Sonnet 3.5 more approachable and a better overall pick in terms of a model, thanks to its cost efficiency and more generous rate limits, compared to O1 Preview's 30 message limit and higher pricing. Now, the new upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet model is no joke as it demonstrates significant improvements across industry benchmarks, particularly in coding and agentic tasks, which we mentioned before. Its coding performance on Human Evil increased to 93.7%, surpassing GPT-4 Omni and Gemini 1.5 Pro, while its agentic coding score on Swaybench Verified, as you mentioned before, jumped a few percentage to all the way to 49%, which is the leading standard. Now, additionally, it improved in various other benchmarks for tool use tasks, scoring 69.2% in retail and 49% or 46 percentage in airline domain. Now, compared to GPT-4 Omni and other models, Claude 3.5 Sonnet offers superior coding, tool use, and problem solving capabilities at the same price and speed, making it a top choice for automated coding and multi-step AI tasks. Let's now take a step back and take a look at the Sway Bench verified coding benchmark further in detail by taking a look at this bar chart. This is where it is showcasing the performance of how well a model does in terms of solving real GitHub issues. Now, as you all know, the Claude 3.5 Sonnet achieved an impressive 49% on this benchmark, which is the best in comparison to many of these other top models and frameworks, such as Cosign Genie, you have the O1 Preview, as well as the O1 Mini. Now, with these results, we can see that the Claude 3.5 Sonnet is currently the undisputed leader in AI code generation. And in my opinion, this makes it not just an opinion, the stats show it as well. It's the best leading AI coding based model that's out there. And this basically makes it the best choice because it's a cost effective model and it's something that you can basically use for its top performance. On top of the Sway benchmark, Claude also does quite well in leading on Ader's code editing leaderboard, where it achieves an impressive score of 84.2, which is while using the architect mode along with DeepSeek as an editing model. It also reaches an outstanding state-of-the-art score of an 85.7 percentage. Now for context, other leading models like the O1 preview scored an 80% on the same benchmark, and the previous version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet from June 2020 scored a 77 percentage. Now, beyond its remarkable code editing capabilities, the new Sonnet also sets a new standard on Ader's more challenging refractoring benchmark. Now, the great thing is, you can actually access the Claude 3.5 Sonnet upgraded version within their chatbot as well as accessing it through their API. Also guys, a side note, you should definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's upload on Klein 
where I'm going to be combining it with the new Claude 3.5 Sonnet upgrade. And this is something that will show impressive results. So definitely recommend that you stay tuned for tomorrow's upload. So now what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the coding benchmark test. Now, this is not a really in-depth benchmark test, but it's going to give you a good idea as to what the capabilities are of this new upgraded model. First things first, we're going to start off with the first prompt, which is to write a Python function that takes a list of integers and returns the sum of all even numbers in the list. So let's go over to the cloud AI chatbot and send this in to the new model. So what this is going to do is it's going to be uh, focusing on finding out if the model is capable of writing the function that uses a list of comprehensions to filter out even numbers. And we can see right away it's capable of doing this. And it seems that it is correctly able to do this where it focuses on finding the sums. And we can see that it showcases this from this Python function over here. So let's go back into our Google Sheet and let's give this a pass. Next up, we're going to be having it prompt up to build a modern weather dashboard. So let's go ahead and see if it's capable of doing this. Now, the prompt that I gave it is that create a visually appealing and user-friendly weather dashboard using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to see if it's able to create an interactive user interface. It's going to be able to provide static data uh, it's going to be functional and it's going to provide a responsive design. Now, this is something that Sonnet does really well at and it showcases that it is capable of being a personal AI software engineer. And from a single prompt, you can see that it created this interactive dashboard for uh, providing me the data or I would say weather for San Francisco. And you can see that it provided me a five day forecast where it showcases the weather, uh, showcases the temperature as well. So in my opinion, I'm going to go ahead and give that a pass. Obviously, we've seen the capability of this model further in detail if we're able to provide better prompting as well as better iterations. So in this case, from a one single generation of a prompt, it definitely succeeded. Now, what we're going to be doing is generating an SVG code for a simple butterfly shape. Now, this is a prompt that many models tend to fail. The O1 preview actually succeeded with this, but let's see if it's capable of doing this. So let's send this in and let's see if it's going to be capable of generating this code. And I got to say, this is definitely the best generation of an SVG code of a butterfly. It is quite beautiful. And let's see if it's actually functional on another website, which will showcase a preview of this SVG code. So let me copy this. Let me go over to that website and showcase it. So I have it copied. Let's paste it in to see if it is actually true. And look at that. This is definitely beautiful. And it was capable of generating the SVG code of a butterfly. So let's go back to our test and give this a pass. This is actually way better than what O1 preview was capable of generating. The next prompt is going to focus on implementing a graph algorithm where I'm telling it to write a Python function that implements the Dijkstra uh, algorithm to find the shortest path in a weighted graph. Include a way to visualize the graph and the path found using libraries such as uh, Mathplotlab as well as NetworkX. So in this case, what we're focusing on getting outputted is the algorithm outputted as well as finding out if it's capable of creating a data structure. So let me quickly analyze this to see if this is correct. So after reading through the code, the clarity as well as the modularity of this code is definitely clear with separations of concerns for the graph as well as operations, pathfinding, and visualizations. Now, it is also implementing the correct fulfillments of requirements of the algorithm and it initializes the graph allowing for edge addition. So now what we're going to be doing is to see if it is correct with the visualization. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and install this package. So we can go into our command prompt. We can then install this and we're going to copy the code for this into a new code snippet or a new code file within Python. And we're going to see if it is actually functional. So I have the code snippet over here. Let's see if we're able to visualize it. And there we go. We have a graph visualization of the red edges showing the shortest passage. So this is definitely correct. And this is showcasing uh, a way for you to get an overall solid implementation of the Dijkstra algorithm with visual representation. And in my opinion, this is quite suitable for the purpose of practical application of graph analysis. So we can go back into our Google Sheet and give this a pass. 
Lastly, we're going to be creating the implementation of Convoy's Game of Life. This is something that most models fail at other than many of the closed source models. In my opinion, this is something that will succeed quite easily. So let's send this in and let's see if it's capable of generating this. So I've copied the code snippet and we're going to test it out to see if it's actually functional. And look at that. We have it running. It actually told me to have the right width as well as the right dimensions to see if it's properly uh, applicable in this case within our terminal but we got a good generation of the game of life and this is definitely a pass so we can go back into the spreadsheet and give this a pass now from that benchmark test we clearly got to see from just five simple prompts how proficient this model is in terms of code generation it's capable of building apps generating algorithms designing games as well as helping you build and configure code generation this is something that you'll get a better idea of in my video tomorrow but from this small little benchmark test this is something that gives you a clear idea as to why this is a quite a great proficient coding based model in comparison to many of the models that are out there such as o1 preview as well as this new haiku model but that's basically it for today's video on the new sonnet upgrade i'm definitely going to be making more videos on this because this is a great leading new coding based model I'll leave all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. This is definitely a remarkable model that you should take a look at with all the links there in the description. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different AI tools for free as well as our private Discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.